Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Atomicrops, more specifically the new Dearly Beloved DLC for Atomicrops that just came out. It is a Halloween-themed DLC with a new boss, camps, friend, and items, among other things, I am sure. But we're going to hop on in to check that stuff out. If you've not seen Atomicrops before, it is a wild time, and it is tough to, uh, tough to parse right away, but let me... Uh, let me try and summarize it. It is a roguelike farming slash twin stick action bullet hell game. Yes, it is both of those things. And of course, I've got to play the uh, the Retromation version of Robusta, which speeds the game up even more. So, alas, in we go. It's been a little bit since we've played here. Okay, I got to remember. We just let's head on out over here uh, because we got to go and find. Some more seeds and stuff like that over on the left. Uh, I believe that one of the new things for the DLC is a new character that you can marry. So in this game, you know, a lot of farming sims have kind of like a marriage element to them. This game has them being like kind of a, a companion that helps you out with either combat or farming. Let's get a cow. The cow will help us water our crops when we get them. Uh, but I think that the new marriage candidate, if I understand correctly, oh my god, is going to be completely different than the others. So we'll we'll see. Shoot explosive butterflies, killing enemies, cuts nearby weeds. I'll go for the explosive butterflies, I suppose. But uh, typically I like to, you know, head out to the side, try and farm, uh, get stuff to farm later at night. Typically, I don't know the meta anymore. Like the game has changed and shifted so much since we uh, were grinding the hell out of it. But basically, I do know that we want to head out over to the side here and see if we can find ourselves a, um, you know, oop, a new passive item. There's like a big guaranteed rare passive item in every zone that will make us stronger, give us a better shot. Oh my word. But among the changes, there's also, like I said, new epic zones. Or I said new zones. New epic zones, which I think is a zone that is just very, very deep and thus very, very um, powerful, game-changing. So I'm very excited to see what kind of thing that'll be. I was unable to find the, um, the free item. What the hell's going on there? Oh, it's probably in this camp. It'll drop a pupa. Oop, and that pupa will give us a, uh, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Will give us a direction to the item. It is over there. All right. Yeah, we're pretty much just gonna uh, go ahead and skip farming on the first day so that we can get this item out of the way. Cows now produce milk as a result. <laughs> My goodness. What did they do before? I don't want to think about it. Uh, but yeah, we're, we'll come back here. We'll defend our base. Every night it gets attacked. Every three nights, a big boss shows up. And our goal is to survive an entire season while getting, um, you know... Wait, Prickly. It's got a, this has a new symbol on it. What the heck? Prickly Pear has a new symbol. We've got a bunch of fertilizer. We can combine them into, like, a bigger quad crop. Man, if you don't know this game, I know that everything I'm saying is absolute malarkey, malarkey nonsense. Just know that everything that is, seems complicated to you is splitting my attention as well. And thus, I will obviously leave some things on the ground here and there, but it'll be okay. I'm not going to lose this game. We'll be all right. I mean, maybe we'll lose if there's some new uh, spicy content that is going to give us a hard time. I don't know. Okay. So here, let me let me check here. New boss, uh, the most demanding challenge yet, marriage. I, I don't know exactly how I will find that or anything, but all right. For now, we don't have uh, too much money. I will buy the rifle. We get a little bit of fighting stat up, which increases our power, our damage, DPS, etc., etc. Uh, you know, I, I guess I'll just go back and I will get a bunch of, um, roses planted and everything so that we can have them at the ready. You almost done? There we go. Have, we'll have them at the ready. 
in case whatever this new thing is pops up and needs roses. Okay, we need to go get some more fertilizer. So let's head on out. All right. Oh boy. But also to be clear, the game is normally not quite this fast. I am playing as this character, uh, Robusta, because it is basically, if I'm gonna play Tava Crops, if I'm coming back to play, I gotta play this character. I have an achievement in this game for beating the hardest difficulty with this character back when uh, it was something that was very, very difficult to do. The chicken will eat weeds, clean them up for us. I don't know how tough it is now. I've heard people say it's not that bad anymore, which is good because that was a, <laughs> that was a week of my life that was absolutely, uh, you know, terrible for my well-being. So I'm glad that other people don't have to quite go through it like that. But we unlocked a, a, a red Retromation hoodie in the game officially. So if you weren't there for that, that's kind of the origin, more or less, of the Retromation red hoodie being put in every roguelike under the sun. Atomicrops was the game that started it all for that. Whoop. Oh my goodness. And it all started because of that challenge. But as a result, obviously, I gotta, I gotta go for that. So we got a new active item. I'm gonna waste it right here just to kind of show it off. It sort of absorbs in enemies, does damage to them, and turns them into fertilizer. Very gruesome. Uh, nearby crops grow faster. I like that one. I like that one a lot. Let's head back home for today. Combine. It's worth more if they are fertilized, so we want to make sure we do that. Please? Yeah, here. So yeah, if we're standing by a crop, it'll grow faster because that passive item we picked up. Gonna drop in some good old roses. Roses are used to, um, to date suitors back at camp. Maybe it has something to do with the new content as well. I don't know that. That we'll have to find out. We'll use our scroll. That's what did that there. But planting crops and everything is how we get A, more score, B, more money so we can buy better guns, more items, etc. back at home. I know I've said it a lot. It's, it's hard to not uh, fall into simple commentary patterns in a game that destroys your attention span as much as Atomicrops does. We could maybe head out. Burp, 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 burp. Come on, I, would, I want this other one going. Come on, give me the other rose. No. Oh. Are you back here? What is that? Hip bees. Bees and hummingbirds turn weeds into flowers. So yeah, this is the thing where you can you can flirt with them. If you give them enough roses, they'll uh, they'll marry you. Each one has their own passive. Cut down your enemies, gain two farming stats. Sure. Oh, it is it is straight up a melee weapon in melee range. I think this is from the uh, the reap what you crow update. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, do I have this on the, um... Oh, no. Do I have this on the boss fight day? That could be a problem. That could be a problem. I'll just plant some more stuff. I didn't buy any bridge pieces. I'm out of practice. You need bridge pieces to uh, to cross bridges and go to deeper zones. But I'll tell you what, it's probably fine because we didn't fully clear over off to the right. We never got our big, big item, big guaranteed item. I'm assuming milk only just is worth a lot of money or worth money over the course of the run. Okay, so this does Buku damage. Good. As it should, like in this game, especially with robust stuff, you're gonna have a freaking melee weapon. Get a cow, water my crops for me. 
I typically stray for things that help me with uh, farming since, I mean, not to toot my horn, but like, I feel like I usually do a pretty decent job at the, uh, gain some roses and roses grow instantly. Cool. I usually do a fine enough job at the combat part that I kind of just want the game to help me more with the, uh, the farming aspect to make sure I don't fall too far behind on like economy. But yeah, cows are going to be really good for me as well. Not to mention that, you know. What the hell is this? Plains crops have evolved. What is this? All seeds found in the plains will now be corn seeds. Evolving crops helps our ecosystem. Please choose a reward. Ability to place tundra garden beds. Gain a tundra garden bed. Garden beds automatically sow seeds from your inventory. Sow desert seeds in a line. Gain 20 seeds and two pickaxes. What the hell? What do you mean sows them in a line? Like if I put one down, it plants the whole thing. What, what the heck? Gain the ability to place tundra garden beds. Gain a tundra garden bed. Garden beds automatically sow seeds from your inventory. I don't know if that is good or not, but I like the word automatic in a game like this. Oh! Gotcha. So that's interesting. Sorry, there is a completely different system at play that I have never seen before. Is that from this update? This this DLC? Alright, we got a boss fight now. Uh, good news is he gets pretty wrecked. I god, I hate this boss because you can't really see his hitbox very well. Oh my god. I thought he got wrecked by the um, the tractor, but I guess they changed that. Oh my god. Oh please! Yeah, this is not a not a fight you want to do with a melee weapon. Holy crap. You do not want to do that fight with a melee weapon. Jeez. He's just so darn wiggly. Alright. Oh yeah, those grow instantly now. Not bad. Honestly? I don't know if I'll ever get the scythe again. <laughs> like, is it nice that it does seemingly pretty good damage? Yeah. But having to get this close is just actually untenable. So I'm assuming this will help us level up our, um, our crops here. Maybe we, um, once we harvest them? My guess. Boop. All right, we're heading back. Yep, that is indeed correct. We kind of leveled it up. Gotcha. That's a whole new thing. Thank God. All right, so look around. Look around, look around, look around. Okay, maybe after the festival here. We just get a whole bunch of rewards because we did a decent amount of farming. Turrets and drones fire faster. I think I'm good with the tractor I have. Wait, can you not buy bridge pieces anymore? Wait, what the heck? Wait, did the bridge piece system change entirely? Wait, what? I'm confused. There's no bridge pieces for sale. I get, I didn't go down to even check. That might not be a thing anymore. All seeds found in the desert will now be black-eyed bean seeds. Interesting. Gain the ability to place jungle garden beds. Gain it. Okay, so that's something in our inventory that we needed to place down. Oh, this is a jungle garden bed. Got 
gotcha. Interesting. I have no more pickaxes. But I don't really want to just, like, go absolutely wild with it and start messing up my plot. Strange stuff. All right. Well, okay. Here's the thing. I want to make sure I plant my heartbeat seeds here. They're how I restore health. And that worm is an absolute monstrous nightmare with robusta melee weapon. That is honestly incredibly no <laughs> rough. Like, not to say annoying, but you can just get around it by not being uh, masochistic. Okay, is there no... Uh... Okay, so bridge, just it just costs money. Okay, I, I, I love that change. You just pay the money here. You don't have to worry about losing bridge pieces back at home or whatever. That is great. I'm all for that. It's never like, oh man, I forgot to buy it. It's just, it doesn't matter anymore. You'll have it. If you got the money to buy a bridge piece, you can just buy it out here. There's some, like, so many good quality of life changes. Uh, the bee helps grow crops faster. The item I just picked up there. Like, it'll literally just go and speed them up. Whether or not I'm there. Man, the quality of life changes, though, are through the roof. All right, fine, I'll be back. I'm not actually worried. We have this. If we fully fertilize it, we're back at full health. It's really just... If you're, if you're wondering why I'm not worried, <laughs> it's that. That's why. Okay. Good deal. So we do have to till this as well. I would imagine that those are... It's not a very optimal for, like, if you're going for just max score. It's not the optimal choice to go for the beds, but... Something about it just seems kind of fun. Is this... Which one's the planes? I think this would be the planes. Seems like it does try and maybe plant the same thing. Oh, it has the symbol underneath it. So we don't actually have whatever this is. Gotcha. Is this the desert? No. I would assume this would have been jungle. They stopped that symbol. Buy this, get some darn damage and range up. Rate of fire up, rather. Some old weeds become flowers. Yeah, I'll buy that. And I'll buy that, too. We don't have to marry you. If we flirt, like, two more times, then we would, uh, we would marry them. Okay. We do need to make sure we, uh, we get to head out. Up to the tundra. Probably. Kind of trying to get that to automatically combine there. Like, I know it's done and ready, but if you have four and you combine them, they're worth a little bit more money. I don't know. The, the flower beds are a new thing for me. I have never played with them before, so I don't know quite how to optimally use them yet. Also worth noting, I don't have, I don't even have close to the uh, maximum meta progress anymore. This is a new camp. This is a whole new camp. What the hell, man? New enemies as well. New enemies at double speed. I nearly croaked to set up a shop in town. Hop on by. Ooh. Put the text box away. Thank you. Shop in town, I'm assuming they mean, um... Oh my god, that was already finished. Oh, bite me. Here, walk into this. 
There we go. It wasn't a waste. Actually just calculated. I'm assuming it means the town in between, like, in run and not, like, back at the home camp. Could be, though. It could be another, another new meta progress update. Could be. Uh, oh, I accidentally... I want to make sure I get this pupa. Please stop. Leave me alone. Believe it or not, this is a relaxing day. There we go. It's a lucky day uh, where you kind of just get to farm. It's a rare event, and by that I mean it might happen once a game. possible just to not miss like a thousand things per second in this game. Alright, what do we have at this point? We got this. I kind of want to get a level up to this thing. Just trying to make sure I don't accidentally like plant something in these little sections, you know? No, I'll just grab that. It's an upgrade to what? Tundra crops. You know what? Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a, sh a shot to just, you know, finding a way. Please. To plant all of the seed beds. Wait, that was the planes one? So that's the planes symbol. Oops. It's kind of nice that it automatically, yeah, it automatically plants whatever you have as that current guaranteed seed type. That's interesting. Pickaxe. Wait. Oh, okay. So you sell. Okay, it's another another use for actual money now. You get a banana tree. I don't care too much about trees right now. I don't have that much space. They take up a, a two by two grid. And I just I can't I can't really do that at the moment. Um. I'll plant my quad of health here because if you go over your maximum health, it does actually give you more heart containers. It's not at a one-to-one -one ratio. Like, if you would heal for one, it gives you one max health, but it's quite a bit. It's worth doing. Heartbeats grow instantly and gain a heartbeat. Okay. Well, that settles that. We got Zap on this thing. Trying to get a little bit of a full player. Gotta love the zap. Alright. I feel like there might be. There could be a camp up here. Could be a camp down here. Tisn't. Ah, oh, there's not. Wasted time. Oh, there was a camp here, though, all along. Uh, you know what? Stat up. I'll take a stat up over crops growing faster than turrets. I do like that other item, from what I remember, but I just am feeling sort of weak stat-wise. Um, okay, so this mushroom increases our damage by quite a bit. So part of me wants to just hang out, buy it, until the boss shows up. Okay, we'll go into the deep tundra just for a second. Like, literally just for a second. Find that mushroom again. Boop. 
Go back. Increases my damage. Excuse me, mister. He's dead. That's why I did that. Okay, a little bit of max HP up. Don't mind if I do. You know what? Maybe I just... Maybe what I should do is just get that all, all the time. Give me the dang cactus saw. And I know I don't have the uh, the stuff for it yet, so... And it doesn't look like I can uproot them. But I'm not just going to plant it willy-nilly, no sir. That would look ugly. Oh, heck. It's fine. I'll just waste the one. Did I get lucky and, uh... I did. I hit one of those tiles with the Earthquake Scroll. That's kind of what it does, is it expands out our base a bit. Okay. So we're almost uh, leveled up with the Sun Seeds, which... I do not know. I do not know. So they kind of just combine them in. That's a, that's a really good quality of life thing. They're just sort of combined in. Planes have evolved more. Another desert. Gained three desert garden beds. Jungle garden beds create their own seeds. When you pick up jungle seeds, they become seeds from another biome. What the hell? That sounds, sounds good to me. Okay, so now we're in a spot where... We are definitely going to have to jank this up a bit. I just don't know how to use these yet. I don't know the meta. The jungle bed meta. Spot back one. Oh, okay. So you can just straight up buy a, a garden bed. Cut down a tree to gain a tree seed and lumber. That's new as well. You can buy a bee. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> Cattle turret tumors. Cows have turrets on their back. Let's go. We have lots of cows. Cutting weeds increases day length. I'm actively going to skip that. Nah, I won't skip it. I don't like the... I, I've gone on record. I don't like any of the, the upgrades that make the day longer. Normal runs of this game are like an hour 20, hour and a half. Robusta cuts it down to like 50, but those items increase the day length and thus obviously the run length. Cut an additional weed. I'll buy a pig, I'll buy that. I'll just buy that, sure. We have a lot of roses. Kill all nearby roaches. Honestly, sure. I don't want to marry you yet. Because I'm not sure what is the deal with that at the moment? All right. Bang. Okay, so we did get this. Plant the jungle bed there. After the sucker is done. Come on, please. Come on. Hurry up. Because I want to plant the thing right there. Hurry up! Hurry the hell up! Thank you. There we go. Alright, did we ever... We did finish uh, the Tier 1 zones. Alright, let's head out. Actually, we could fertilize blast this, honestly. Let's do that. We'll head down to the jungle after. I don't know. We could maybe, like, just hang out here. It's so effective. Just these bases are nuts. All right. Couple with all the cows. It's silly. Day length increase. I'll do it. I'll do it. Gain three bees, run fast. I don't need to run faster. Not a, not as robust. I honestly consider that to be 
a little bit of a detriment sometimes. The character already runs fast enough. Give it a beat. Give it a beat. Alright. Getting back in the swing of things. About like, yeah, it takes about 30 minutes to get used to the speed of Robusta. And until then, I'm like, oh my god, what the hell's happening? Uh, fighting setup or farm animals produce fertilizer. I can't remember if the mushrooms change, but I kind of want to save that for later. What is this? Is it pointing me back to my farm? Was I watering it from there? Oh my god. What just happened? What, like, actually, what just happened? Just all of a sudden, everything was there at the same time? That was weird. Cut some weeds. We can get energized here. Cut enough weeds. This helps us do all the planting and everything a little bit more effectively. Okay. We have an entire extra quad of heartbeat seeds, too. If we start to take damage, we can take, like, another six. And it won't even matter. As long as I react fast enough with the planting. Okay. Holy moly. Yeah, if we just stand like right here, they'll probably just keep cycling each other, more or less. Par snipper rifle. Par sniper? I don't know if it's par snipper or par sniper, you know? Who's to say? Oh, I wish. Super duper cow. I will buy another gourd, though. Weeds turn into flowers when you take damage. Interesting. Not interesting enough to take, but interesting enough for you to say interesting to. No fertilizer. Let's go. I actually do not like the sniper rifle for this zone. Lots of tiny enemies. Makes it kind of awkward. Thankfully, we do have the zap modifier, which is kind of just like a random thing you get when you invest in a higher tier version of that weapon. This gives us fertilizer on kills. Sniper cat. Garfield! Point. Go for the cow. We have like so many good cow passives. Good. What do you have here? Health that regenerates every morning. Don't mind that one bit. I guess we can just go deeper into the jungle here for today. Tractor is ready. Oh my word. Oh my word. Oh my stats. Oh my dang. Wow, me. Not nice. I meant nice to the shrine. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm not supposed to be here. Uh, I'm going to sacrifice a health to increase my fighting stat. And I hate the little bugs.
Whoop. Tundra Garden beds create their own seeds. When you pick up Tundra seeds, it becomes seeds from another biome. I feel like doing that seems like a good call. Oh, we got another. They merge without fertilizer. Okay. Gotcha. I'm down to I'm down to mess with kind of just like automatically efficient farming stuff. That is that is huge. That means that there is now a way to play this game that is infinitely less taxing from the um, like the farming side of things. Like it's always been a very tricky game for me to be like, yeah, anyone can play it. Because, it, I mean, just look at it. <laughs> it's... But also I am, yeah, this is Robusta. It is a, a less approachable character. If you leave weeds too long, they do turn into monsters, just like real life. Roses. Look at all that health. Look at all that freaking health. We have uh, more Tundra Garden things as well. When did, when did we get that? When the hell did we get those? Ooh, legendary sniper. We don't have the money for it. Don't have the money for either. Next day will be 30 seconds longer. Nah. I mean, fine. I do want to see the new stuff. I'm energizing the tractors use. Nah. All right, so there was a, um, a thing that was down in the jungle. Do we have any more seed beds? No? Okay. That increase our damage. So part of me wants to just go back down to the jungle, even though it's, like, it's technically not the next step in the, um, the progress we should be going either here or here if we want to go for normal scaling difficulty and not be an idiot that's what we would do but that mushroom that increases our damage is up there and i kind of want to go for it oh god can you see why i absolutely hate sniper rifle in the jungle it's just oh my god So many enemies to do this, and yet here I am, willingly choosing to do it. Strange man. Add it. I'll go for just more pickaxes so we can get more space. Seems like that's going to be a recurring thing we're going to really want because of the new seed beds. Cow, we love cows. What is you found a cat plushie. What the hell? What are you, what are you talking about? Don't get too close to that. Oh, the zap might have done something. Ooh. Okay, what do we got? We got 30 seconds left, 38 seconds left. Boy, oh boy. Why'd I anger them? No, 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 no. not with a sniper. All right, let's head back up. Get that damage mushroom. I don't know if we'll make it in time. I actually don't know if we will make it in time. I also don't remember where it is. It was like here-ish. Here we go. Bop. Babu, babu, babu. Oh, God. Damage does not help that much on this guy. He spreads around like a son of a gun. It's kind of his thing. It's not that it's useless on him. It's just not as useful. What? Wait, wait, what are these? Are those not something? I've never seen him before, so I just didn't know. I figured it would, might as well die. 
Okay. What is this? Desert crops grown in desert garden merge without fertilizer. Oh, these give you an extra bed. Gotcha. Okay, kill the boss. If you say so. Without fertilizer is pretty big. Across the board, we are pretty hurting for it. Oop. For fertilizer, that is. He missed a heartbeat. See there, I left your dumb comment for you. Don't worry about it. It's okay. I've got too many things going on to care about one little heartbeat seed here or there. Especially when my health is like this. It's all good. I'm just trying to figure out this new mechanic. I, I really like it so far. I, I think the, um... Yeah, the kind of, like, leveling up system over there. Really interesting. Uh... Oh, I missed the... Oh, I don't have money. I don't have money for either. I'm 200 shy on both. Are you kidding me? Buy another jungle bed. Oh, oh, oh. Spring chicken. Chickens turn into turkeys that have a 50% chance to turn weeds into flowers. I mean, that's cool. I don't think I have many chickens right now. Oh, look at the Halloween balloons. I didn't notice that. Is that... Did that do that every time? Head out. Winter. All right, we didn't fully explore the jungle, and we still have the sniper rifle. Um, you know we're we're almost done with it. Oh, let's just do it. Seems like we are making less money on average because of the beds, but we're also having to pay attention to it less, so it's kind of like a... Oh my god, I just hate the bugs. I hate the bugs here. A net gain, maybe? Is what I was going to say? I don't know. Watch out, cat. Oh god, no. No, not like this. No, I'm too fast. Don't remember exactly what that was. Ooh. Earthquake. Destroy the Ooh. Ground a bit. Okay. Pupa's over there. I feel like we've cleared probably like 90% of the camps, right? Dude. Please. I just don't want to accidentally proc that guy. I'd rather get him on purpose. Sir, 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 Uh, stats up. Thank you. All right. Back home I go. Yeah, we like, we pretty much infinitely will have seeds. Pretty obscene. You could probably just stay home with some builds. Like, I could see that happening now in a way where you... I couldn't really see that before. Would it be fun? I mean, hey, that's... Your mileage may vary, but... You could probably make it work now. 
which is pretty cool. It feels like I'm missing out on so much money just by, by leaving. Like before you had to leave all the time to get anything done. But now it might be that you pick and choose like, you're like, I don't know, I don't feel like I need to go to the jungle today. And you skip the jungle bio or something. That'd be interesting. Stuck on the well. Okay. Hurry up. There we go. Only a couple days left. Yeehaw. Finally, I can get a new uh, gun, though, I'm sure. Oh, God. And I don't know if I want that. Contains hazardous chemicals. Next day is 15 seconds longer. Ah, yes. I do want to date you, but at, at this point, again, like, I don't know if I, uh, won't be able to date the other one. Whatever the special thing is. If, if I even find it. Let's head deep into a zone now. I guess let's head up into the... <laughs> again, we're kind of skipping ahead a bit. This is not the way to do it, but I'm like, if there's going to be a new thing, maybe it's deep in the, the hardest zones. Because this is, uh, historically, this was one of the toughest ones for me. Lots of strange enemies that do weird, big, goofy bullet patterns. What the hell? Where do you come from? Oop, 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 oop. Free every day, occasionally shoot a flying squirrel. I mean, like, for flavor alone, you gotta take it, right? Uh, turret, I, uh, I'd rather have over Scarecrow. Scarecrow's a defensive tool, uh, like, that blocks some bullets, pushes enemies away to an extent. Okay. Oh, my word. Bullets on the everything? Bullets on the everything? I just love dropping the tractor on those just for maximum fertilizer action. This is actual chaos. Okay. Cows block bullets and fertilizer. Cool. That's... I've not seen that before. Woo -hoo. Oh, you're still alive. You're still alive. You're still alive. We should head back. We should really head back. Cupa, though. Cupa, Cupa. The tunnel? Oh, no. Where's that? I thought there was a tunnel here. Where's the freaking tunnel? There we go. Here comes hell. Oh, no. I'm so fast. I'm too fast. I don't remember which one's good for us. Okay. Leaveth me alone. Uh, please, pigs, get the weeds so I can plant. Yep. Leave me alone. I just want to farm. Just 
trying to farm here. Pretty low. I'm farming here. Great. That's a lot of milk. Love it. You know what? Sure. I will increase tomorrow's day length since it's theoretically like the last one. And I want to see whatever the garbage is. The new garbage. I feel like we, we've seen a lot of new stuff already, though. Pig. Pig do dig. Oh, I did not mean to anger this camp. It's a useless camp for me. Day length up? Sure, fine. Sure, fine, whatever. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Good. Tree boy down. We can now fly. We can fly over obstacles that we couldn't before. Not those, though. We can f fly over uh, places we would normally need to buy bridge pieces for. Which is something. Jerk. I don't remember what this one does. Tunnel back to your farm. Oh, we gotta let out the animals. Save the animals. And we also have to probably, oh my God. A couple camps going at us at the same time there. Probably gotta go uh, heal as well. Just can fly over this. Do a little bit of teleporting back. <laughs> Moisten the soil. Crops harvested from Tanji Garden drop random seeds. I'll have a moisten the soil. All right. All right. I mean, I did my darndest to try and find some stinking stuff, and I don't know. We, we found a lot of new stuff. I ain't paying. Oh, this is, this is the uh, deal with the devil then. Mary, this is this is it. Um, well, I'm gonna die. There's lots to plan. The devil's in the. I'm at half a heart. I'm at one heart right now, and I can't get more. Um. Well. Uh. What the hell? I'm gonna just like go ham here because apparently I have 36 heartbeats. You can marry the devil now? Oops, I didn't do that. So that's what it is. Interesting. What does marrying the devil do for me? Oh, hello. I have no idea. We have so many excess seeds that they can be planted outside, but like, 
drop fertilizer and merging into large crops. Great. Like, I could plant all these excess, but it's just like, it's all just going automatically. I should definitely do this, though. I feel like I got a million resources when I married the devil. Like, I feel like I just got about a thousand things all at once. If it gives me this much health, then it's not that big of a deal that I go down to one. It is dangerous because you're like, oh, I gotta get home, I gotta get home, I gotta get home, but... Other than that, it's not that bad. I may have just had those, though, for all I know. Oh my word. Plant it all, plant it all, plant it all, plant it all. Woo woo! Gnarly. Great! Jesus. Jesus! Reduce enemy bullet speeds? I was told that that's not bad now. Uh. Mary question mark. Well, maybe I can get away with getting one of these. Increase fighting stat. Jungle crops have a chance to mature instantly. When merged. Great. Great. I feel like maybe it's like we unlock a new final boss if we marry the devil. That's my guess. It's my best guess right now. Double edge watering can? I don't actually remember what that was. Yeah! Oh! Oh! I don't know what I want to get rid of. I feel like, I feel like I'm good, actually. Alright. Uh, out we go. Nuclear winter. Ah, yes. Married. Hello, devil. Till death do us part. The hell? You actually have... How do I kill you? You kill the other boss by farming. Yeah, it's the same thing. I think. Oh my god. I'm trying to figure out if I can hit you. Can I... I'm doing damage, and I can only assume it's from the crops. I don't really need more seeds right now. I need them to be automatically moist. Wine glasses. Oh my word. Dropping fertilizer like a son of a gun. Thank you, my beloved. Oh God. What the? You froze my cows? Prepare to die. Little gift there. This is wild. Just plant all this stuff and then we'll use that super duper fertilizer. I'm at 900 fertilizer. I don't know why I'm going out of my way for more. Huh? All right, there we go. That should be pretty good, I would assume. Oh, 
<laughs> what on earth? What the hell is this? What the wedding ring? Don't tell me those. Okay, I was gonna say, don't tell me those stay there for the whole freaking fight. Oh my god, we got multiple attacks at the same time now? Yeah, sight reading this at uh, two times speed is a little bit rough. <laughs> Believe it or not. We're doing fine though, we have a million health. Okay. Yeah, the their thing is they're doing, like, multiple attacks at the same time now. All kind of at once. I think that thing needs to die for us to get unfrozen. What? What the hell? Crops are now unfrozen. Please? I wonder if the fire, like the flamethrower, this fight is just ridiculous. Okay, we did it. We're out of water. Oh, oh, the water's behind us still. Okay. Oh my god. This is like a high score run moment. If anyone, if you care, that's what this is for. I'm not really a guy who cares about that. My god. I did it. Have a cat. After that, have a cat. Does this mean we're Deervorous? You can keep the ring. Deervil's ring. 0.3% Deervil's curse. New crops and newly merged crops have a chance to mature instantly and become fully fertilized. When this happens, spawn a mole. You found a cat plushie. They give you permanent stat bonuses based on how many cats of a certain type live near your farmhouse. Man. I'm pretty satisfied with that considering I am so behind on the meta progress for this game now. I'm pretty satisfied. Like, there is a billion things I'm missing now. Uh, the whole cat, uh, plushie system. Chance to block damage for every cat you have. Chance that tractors will instantly gain a charge after use. So for every single one of the cats like this you have, you get that point. Well, I mean, hey, that's pretty low. But still. There's also this whole thing, whatever this is about. Oh my god, man. Chance an alien pod will spawn near your farm each day? Sure. All right, well, hey, that uh, that is wild. A lot of great quality of life stuff. We got to stand by this for the, uh, the ending here. A lot of great quality of life stuff. Uh, wow, I, I think that I would imagine the quality of life things are changed in the base game itself. And the DLC is just the new epic camps, the new friend, which I don't know. It says, and some, I guess, spoilers. It says this on the Steam page. Someone has come back from beyond the grave to assist you in your post-apocalyptic endeavors. My educated guess is the guy from, you know, the trailer? But I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. Uh, new items. There's the axe and uh, purchase trees. There's that whole new shop there now instead of the bridges, which I think is great. Uh, and then, of course, the new boss. Yeah. Major. Receive major treats for dealing with her tricks. Yes. I, I assume it's just that we get super duper uh, ingredients, but we have to make sure we head back home without <laughs> dying. I don't know, in the wild. And I would say that that fight is tougher than the uh, Corpsacopia fight. Either way, that is that. That's going to do it here for today for Atama Crops, dearly beloved. If you are, uh, you know, excited about roguelikes in general, and this is your first time on this channel, this is a great place to uh, be subscribed. I have more blueprints, but I need to workshop. Oh my god! 
Wait, I haven't even unlocked the ability to unlock meta progress from these guys yet. Oh my god, there's so much. Alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for Roblox and more every single day, and I will see you next time. Bye.